Head coach Deion Sanders in Colorado will not have Travis Hunter for their toughest test of the season at Oregon. Saturday, 3.30 Eastern on ABC. Hunter was released from the hospital Monday. Buffs next two games, again, come against Oregon and USC. So this is not a good timing at all. Hunter's injury could open up an opportunity for five-star true freshman Kermani McLean to get his first college snaps. Here's Sanders. Travis is doing great. Uh, got out of the hospital yesterday. He's at home uh, make, doing his schoolwork, uh, playing video games, being Travis. He can't wait to get back to continue to do what he's capable of doing. But it's no one in the country could fill Travis Hunter's shoes. You got to understand he's a unique player. He's one of a kind. He's uh, the best player on offense, the best player on defense. That's just who he is in the country, not just on his team. Colorado State University Police Department and local authorities have looked into threats, including death threats against Colorado State defensive back Henry Blackburn and his family. Blackburn, a senior from Boulder, delivered that illegal hit on Hunter in the first half of Saturday's game. Deion Sanders addressed the threats. Henry Blackburn is a good player who played a phenomenal game. He made a tremendous uh, hit on Travis on the sideline. You could call it dirty. You could call it he was just playing the game of football. But whatever it was, it does not constitute that he should be receiving death threats. That that's This is still a young man trying to make it in life, a guy that's trying to live his dream and hopefully graduate with honors or degree, uh, committed to excellence, and go to the NFL. He does not deserve a death threat over a game. At the end of the day, this is a game. Good on Dion. Travis Hunter made a huge jump in the Heisman odds after Colorado's season opening win over TCU. Reached as high as 15 to 1 entering last weekend's thriller against Colorado State, but has fallen back down to 100 to 1 following uh, the unfortunate news.